Hey, this is Wolf from Armoury Terrain, and in front of you you can see a roaring great fire, well, small fire by our standards, because it is the middle of winter, and it's only, you know, 22, 23 degrees at this time of the morning, and we're melting aluminium today. This is my assistant, David, who's using tongs to put the cans into the steel crucible in my fire, because unlike some people that need propane, my fireplace is hot enough to melt the aluminium down into nothing in seconds flat. So we will melt a few more cans and then we'll try a pour. Okay, so here we are, we're going to try our very first pour of aluminium. Um, there's still a fair bit of crud in the crucible, but we're just going to pour it and hopefully it'll come out. This muffin tray will probably catch fire with the coating because the aluminium is so much hotter than the lead was. Okay, David, nice and easy. The liquid should run out from underneath the crud. Yep. Cool, you did well not to overfill. Now, the main objective for today is to make ingots of clean aluminium that we can then cast into other things instead of all the... instead of all the... Um, cans so they're looking shiny and pretty at the moment and the pan hasn't actually ignited but the coating is burning fairly well and this steel crucible that my father Marty made is working really well I think that's about all we're going to get out of this sort so back into the fire and the aluminium here in the pour translates into that bin there full of uncrushed or partly crushed cans. Not that this fire is hot or anything, but here goes a V can. Very big one. Yes. The first thing that happens is the liner inside catches fire and goes pop like that. And then the can starts to melt. It's already turned black. It's leaning. And there you see it. As he's pushing it down, it's just melting into the molten aluminium. How many cans would you say we've done so far? 200? A lot. A lot. Haven't been counting, but a lot. Yep. Sometimes when you drop them, they start melting outside of the crucible. Yes, not that the fire's hot or anything. They melt faster if you crush them, but it's more fun if you leave them uncrushed so you get that. Dream close up on can. And this is all in real time, not speeding anything up. There we go. So you 
Now, in my defense, all of these energy drink cans that you can see going in here, I didn't consume. One of my ex-housemates did. Because while I'm really bad on Pepsi Max, even I couldn't drink this much energy drink without it killing me. So it's now the day after the last time you saw us casting, and I have the results. Is it a huge amount? No. Is it enough to make some pretty cool projects with at some point in the future? Yes, it is. Is it cost effective? Probably not. But if we're going to save this planet, we have to recycle and reuse. So let's show you what we have from all those cans yesterday. So this is the result of all the aluminium smelting. We've got some nice little ingots of relatively pure aluminium which when we go to cast some interesting things um, be much easier because we just put these in the crucible and melt them instead of having to deal with all the dross so yeah this is Wolf from Armory Train saying go out and make something or go out and reuse and remake something and save the planet <laughs>